Welcome to this video of Highway Engineering. In this video, we will see some questions about soil aggregates and Marshall Mix Design. Before looking into these questions, I want to tell you about two formulas that are used in Marshall Mix Design. First one is to find out the percentage of air voids, VV, and it's given as GT minus GM divided by GT into 100, where GT is the theoretical specific gravity and GM is the measured specific gravity of the mix. And the second formula is to find out the percentage of voids filled with bitumen. This is given by GM is into WB divided by GP, where GM is the measured specific gravity and GB is the specific gravity of the bitumen and WB is the percent weight of the bitumen. Now, let's start with our questions. So our first question is the standard plate size in a plate bearing test for finding modulus of subgrade reaction is and the standard plate size in CBR test is you know that there are two plates 30 centimeter and 75 centimeter plate and 75 centimeter plate is the standard plate. Our second question is the minimum value of CBR percent required for granular subbase as per Ministry of Surface Transport specification is 5%, 10%, 15%, and 20%. Its answer is 20%. We know that CBR percent required for granular subbase is 20%. Third question. This question says that in the Marshall method of mixed design, the coarse aggregates, fine aggregates, filler, and bitumen, having specific gravities of this, 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 and this, are mixed in a ratio of this, 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 and this percent. These ratios are given in percent. So the theoretical specific gravity of the mix would be, you know the formula, GT is equal to 100 divided by, this is the weight percent, divided by the theoretical specific gravity, W1, G1, W2, G2, and so on. So there are four materials used in this design, 100 divided by the ratios, 55, 34.6, 4.8, and 5.6. These are divided by their specific gravities. These are 2.62, 2.72, 2.70, 1.20. After solving these values, the answer will come out to be 2.44. Now, let's talk about our fourth question. In this question, you have to match list 1 with list 2. And list 1 shows the properties and list 2 shows the tests. And the first property is hardness. Hardness is directly related to the abrasion test. Second is porosity. Porosity is related to water absorption. Third one is toughness. Toughness is related to impact. And the fourth one is durability. Durability is directly related to soundness test in which the aggregates are poured into the NN2SO4 and MG2SO4 solutions. So soundness test is done to check the durability. Uh, I think the second option is correct. Let's talk about our fifth question. The fifth question says that a martial specimen is prepared for bituminous concrete with a bitumen content of 5% by weight of total mix. It means WB is equal to 5%. Theoretical and measured uh, unit weight. Theoretical and measured. It means GT and GM are 2.442 and 2.345. The bitumen has a specific gravity of 1.02. And after that, the percent voids in mineral aggregates filled with bitumen are. Okay. So this question is a bit complicated, but if you look it into the question, it says the percent of voids in mineral aggregates filled with bitumen. You have to find out the percent of voids filled with bitumen. First of all, you have given the theoretical specific gravity, measured specific gravity, and the bitumen specific gravity of the bitumen and the percent weight of the bitumen. So the formula that we have is VV is equal to GT minus GM divided by GT into 100. From this formula, the value will come out to be 3.97% after solving. Okay, so now you have got VV percentage. Okay, and you have to find out the volume of voids filled with bitumen. Now, Volume of voids filled with bitumen is given by VB divided by VMA into 100. Okay, I told you in the lecture of Marshall Mix Design that the VFB percent is can be found out by VB, you know, volume of bitumen, divided by volume of mineral aggregates into 100. Okay, now we have formula to find out VB. 
we also have formula to find out VMA. We can find out the value of VMA if we find out the VB. So to find out VB, we have a formula of GM into WB divided by GB, where WB is the percentage weight of bitumen and GM is the measured specific gravity, GB is the specific gravity of the bitumen. Okay, by putting us so after putting these values, it will come out to be 11.5%. So now you have found out VB. Now you need to find out volume of mineral aggregates, total volume minus volume of air. Now the volume of voids in the mineral aggregates can be found out by total volume minus volume of mineral aggregates which is equal to volume of voids plus volume of the bitumen. We have volume of voids 3.97%. We have volume of bitumen that is 11.5%. We can add them up 3.97 plus 11.5 will give you 15.461%. Now you have found out VMA volume of voids in mineral aggregates. Can you put this value in this formula? VFB is equal to VB 11.5 divided by 15.461 into 100. It will give you 74.3%, which is the last option. Now let's move to our sixth question. Okay, this question says that the bituminous concrete is a mix comprising of we know that a bituminous mix consists of filler, fines, cores, and binder. So, this is the third option, which is C. Okay. Now, our next question is, if aggregate size of 50 to 40 mm is to be tested for finding out the portion of elongated aggregates using length gauge, the slot length of the gauge should be the slot length it means the length of the elongated side okay the length of the elongated side now a particle is said to be elongated if its greatest length is greater than 1.8 times of its mean length and also these dimensions are used to check uh, whether the particle is elongated in the length gauge so this is our question 7 now the mean length will be found out by our aggregate lies between 50 to 40 mm so the mean size would be 50 plus 40 divided by 2 it will give you 45 and now 1.8 into 45 will give you 81 mm similarly you can find out the size of the thickness gauge slot in the flakiness index test let's move to our eighth question in this question you have to match the list uh, it's like crushing load, uh, Los Angeles test, soundness test, angularity test with hardness, weathering, shape and strength. So soundness test is directly related to weathering and angularity directly related to shape and crushing by strength and uh, Los Angeles by hardness. I think the answer is D which is 4, 1, 2, 3. Okay, let's move to our ninth question. This question says that a combined value of flakiness and elongation index is to be determined for the sample of aggregates. The sequence in which the two tests are conducted is, you have to tell the sequence of this test, okay? Before looking at the options, I want to tell you that elongation test is done firstly, and after that, the flakiness te index test is done. And this flakiness index test is done on non-flaky aggregates, okay? So I think the third option, C, Flakiness index followed by the elongation index test on non flaky aggregates is the correct option. Question number 10. This question says that the aggregate impact value indicates which one of the following property. I know it's toughness. Impact is directly related to toughness. I told you in the test. This one. In Marshall testing of bituminous mixes, the bitumen content increases the flow value. Okay, in Marshall testing of bituminous mixes, as the bitumen content increases, the flow value. Do you know this graph? The flow value and the binder content and this graph shows a curve like this. So if we increase the binder content, your flow value will increase monotonically. Now our last question, the 12th question. This question says that in a Marshall sample, the bulk specific gravity of the mix and the aggregates are this and this respectively. The sample includes 5% of bitumen by total weight of specific gravity 1.10 the theoretical maximum specific gravity of the mix is 2.441 the void filled with bitumen in the marshall sample is 
this question is same as this question this question is exactly same as this question you have given all these values i want you i urge you to please try this question by yourself and find out the value this question has no options you have to just find out the answer i will give you the answer and please try to solve this question if you are a true learner then try to solve this question by yourself 68.79 percent i'm again urging you if you're a true learner then please try to solve this question by yourself